there are some challenges that can happen because I know he sees in secret. I will not come here. I will just call and say, um, can you just say anything? Go there and say anything. The reason is because I can come here and because I'm an experienced preacher, I can always find one or two things to say and you'll be blessed. But you see, the one that sees in secret, he will still use me to bless you. But my quarrel with him is still existing. So if you don't make that father your number one audience, you will become a stage manager, become a showbiz expert, and you'll be blessing people, but you are not in right standing with your father. You know a calabash, the whole one and the broken one, they are all useful. The whole one, you can use it to drink water, drink, you know. The one that is broken, you use it to pack debt. But it's still very useful. Are you with me? Very useful. Me, I want to be whole. Because even if you fall, even if you are fake, we will still use you as an example of fake people. And you will still be walking. You say, that man is fake, oh. So at least we have an example of a fake man. You are still helping us. But at least we can see an example of a fake man. So if you are going to work with God, you are going to be useful. At every point, you will be a useful personality. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your heart is critical. God was trying to teach some of the prophet a few lessons. He said, men look on the outward. But I, God, I look on the heart. It's from the altar of your heart that God picks your, your prayer. It, it's precipitate like desires. That's where he picks it. Not what you say. Because it's possible for your heart to be far from God and then your mouth is saying something else. So you cannot deceive God with, on such matters because he sees. The other day one pastor came to me in the office and said, Jehovah has sent him to me. I said, well, I've been waiting. Well, I've been waiting for you. He's been in ministry for 14 years. And, and last week, Jehovah appeared to him and said, he's supposed to follow me. I said, oh my God, we are looking for hands. And I called him to go to God, Chief Don. I should draw up a six-month prayer bulletin for him to engage. This is the fourth year. He's here to resume. <laughs> <laughs> it is because of people like that that our, our father sees his secret. So he doesn't take such people seriously. We are still waiting for him to report. Meanwhile, I say, Jehovah, appear. <laughs> we are still waiting for him to report on the, on the prayer floor. Meanwhile, it's just six months that we gave him, six months. Stretch yourself. Night and day, six months. You do six hours, do six hours, do six hours, like that for six months. When you su succeed for six months, we'll give you the right hand of. We have prayer needs here. We don't do magic. So it's prayer we pray that God answers, that we move ahead as a ministry. We value prayer here. So you will just, you will contribute six months of prayer. Six in the daytime, six in the night. He's but still waiting for him to. We have no magic wand for ministry. Our magic wand is prayer. The greatest blessing you can do to us, you can be to us, is take some of our prayer bodies. It's huge. So even if you want to, you want to learn how to connect cables here, you will pray in the process. You want to do Bible school here, you will pray, Lord. You want to scrub the floor, you will pray, we will give you a location. Because the body is a name months. Day and night labor. So we say you will do six months and then you'll be initiated. He has not reported. This is the 40. The other day we had a big meeting. It was so big. God moved. And I was in the office. People joined the line here. I wanted to come and see me. So I was walking to enter the office. I saw him on the line. I said, ah, you. you had gone abroad. You are, you, are, you are here. He now left the, the line and left. Men look on the outward. 
or God. So, so in view of this, you will need to keep your heart with all diligence. Because that's the platform where your father will come to seek, to smell the incense of your life. Hallelujah. If you know this truth, you will not be so much in a hurry to, to, to show people your spiritual capacity. We did some fasting. Dry. And then we wanted to end it, end it with a conference. So a minister came from London. And he feels that the man that is praying is the man that is doing it. Meanwhile, the reason why we couldn't do that was because we had no strength. We just came from the mountain. And we were high in spirit. High! But he couldn't discern where we were standing. Because he felt if we are praying, we should be shaking. And I knew I was in the wrong place. In my weakness, I crawled out. Because it's not for people that are in secret. You can come and maybe you are blasting a lot of tongues and the person that is sitting so quietly is the one communing with heaven. If you prioritize the, 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 the emphasis of your heart, if you prioritize it, you will always connect. Come. Always connect with God. Always. In your sleep, you connect with God. Connect with God. Hallelujah. Yesterday night, I'm still trying to download what God was telling me. Because if God really wants to speak to me, he comes like a human. And he sits by my bedside when I'm sleeping. If I wake up small like this, I'll see him sitting. But he, he, I'll be so weak, I'll sleep. And he'll be talking to me, I'll be here. It was you he spoke about Smith. He spoke about Smith for 30 minutes. Where he was taking him. I was now wondering. Never seen Smith in a vision. I wasn't thinking about Smith. But he came and was. Steal the heart. Right? And if anybody wants to make your heart turbulent, don't accept it. You can, you can, actually, you can actually engage people and they insult you and you, you refuse to allow it to touch here. That's where they, he said keep it with all diligence. Transmission that will come from your father will always land at that airport. Make sure the airport, the runway is not sterilized. Let it be open for traffic. I was speaking about me. I was wondering. Spoke, spoke, so, so many things, so many things. Showed me where he's, he's taking him. Wow. Finish that. Started showing me two rivers. It was when I woke up that I found it is two trips I'm going to make this year. It's a journey. A journey. So I'm still praying to understand those two. And showed me gold as a third thing. Gold. I woke up when I was in the interface. I was still seeing him. He was sitting there. I turned my head to, to see him properly. Oh, I, I don't know what I that gold anyway. But the one I still remember is the journey of Mr. Smith here. If the heart, you know, sometimes when we are about to land into Abuja Airport, a dignitary is coming, they will sterilize the, the, air, the airway. So the Pilot will have to be going around to wait for those people to finish. Maybe those protocol people, when they finish before, they say, okay, it's open for traffic. Your heart must not be sterilized.
But if you are going to engage a father that sees in secret, then you will take the issues of your heart seriously. In my study of the Bible, I found that there are 13 postures of the human heart. And only one is accurate. But there are 13 possible postures that your heart can sustain. Your heart is as sublime. Your heart is like a moeba. It can take any shape. Circumstances can even affect the shape that your heart takes, if you allow it. Are you with me? If you check uh, the way God created the physical, you find every organ that has to do with the issue of life protected by some bones. The brain is protected by the skull. Your heart and your lungs protected by the ribs. Your spinal cord is protected by the vertebral column. But for the heart, which is an organ for your spiritual life, there is no burglary. Say you keep it. But out of it, issues of life. There is, there is a song we used to sing those days in the old revival. I've forgotten the wordings. I'll try. Open my heart. Open my soul. Until we understand. Okay, no, this one is it's Chris Del Van Der Sar. There is another old one we used to sing about the heart. These people were in the old revival now. There's a heart, one popular <laughs> song about the heart. I would like us to sing it. In the 80s, in the 80s, we took, we took heart. Most of our songs were heart-based. Because people really had intercourse with God. Their heart was a matter. Those were the days where you heard, you heard sermons, you heard teachings about the heart. You will hear how that Solomon did not follow with a perfect heart. And because his heart was not perfect in followership, he now loves strange women. Okay. Uh huh. Oh Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. There were many songs we sang those days that were heart-based, but today in the body of Christ, we sing about fire. We sing about fire, glory. Meanwhile, there's none of that glory that you are going to encounter without a heart that is not diligently cultivated. It's the root of all engagement. It's the root of all, all engagement business of the spirit. I want to use this teaching as a means of bringing back some of our old values that was responsible for growing some of the strongest Christians that could survive most vicious adversities orchestrated by Satan. There were men that could cultivate the heart. Because that's where the business is done. Your father see it in secret and he will reward you open I preached many times and the Holy Ghost was grieved because I said something and many miracles still took place and people wondered what powerful man was this I went home broken hearted to look for him and say can we discuss this matter if you lose focus lose sight of your heart, you will become a ninja and you will not know. When you see some mafia moves that pastors can conveniently take, make, and edge people out, 
you will know that even though he knows prayer, he only knows prayer answered. He's not a candidate for the rewards that come from prayer. The heart is no longer emphasized. For instance, the average lady doesn't understand that her beauty is going to move from her face to her heart in old age. Doesn't know. He's looking for foundation for the face. I'm not saying stop using it. I'm just saying know that your true beauty can never hang on that face. Okay. <laughs> your true beauty can never hang there. By the time you get married, your husband will get used to how your face looks like. And your face can't move him. But if a, if, if a heart of grace is behind that face, even if he quarrels, say, hey, before in the, he, will, he, will, he will look for a way to compensate it. Because grace is speaking. Grace is speaking. True beauty cannot hang on the face. It hangs on that. The ornament of a meek and a quiet spirit which in the sight of God is of great price. Come in to my heart Lord Jesus Come in to stay coming today coming to my heart Lord Jesus into my heart into my heart coming to my heart Lord Jesus, come in to stay, come in today, come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. The ancients, they taught us something. They say if you find a song, are you with me? That that heart is in it, and you find and Jesus is in it. These two things, it will it will it will take you on a trip inside. But today you sing about fire. No, go deeper. Come in. Today, come in to stay, come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in, come in to stay, come in to. Come in, come in to stay, come in today, come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. If you cultivate your heart diligently, You will find wisdom, not just for yourself, for your, for, for your community, for your nation. Being in power, for instance, it's a curse if you don't have wisdom. There are some states in this country, I'm, I'm wondering why somebody will say he's the governor of that state. When he's totally devoid of wisdom. The activities in the place happen without him and he will still be talking on the microphone. Oh, if you cultivate your heart. If you cultivate it. That's where he sees. That's where reverence is born. And he sees that you reverence him in there. 
He will come to you in the night. Coming to stay. Coming today. Coming to my heart. Come in, come in to stay. Come in to day. Come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in, come in to stay. Come in. Today, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today, come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. Now what you just did is what we call heart cultivation. So it's easy for you to interface with the Father now. If he speaks, you will hear. Most of you enter into his presence. You won't speak. You didn't cultivate the inner membrane. There was no cultivation. A time comes when after cultivation, as they are speaking the words, they are strong. They are strong. You can feel it. It means you cultivated adequately. So the spirit of God is riding on your utterance and making them appear in heaven. Oh, come in to stay Come in today. Come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in to stay. Come in today. Come in to my heart. Lord Jesus. When you begin to take your heart serious, then the love of God is shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. And it will be difficult for you to offend Jesus because you have something with him. The love of God happens to be what constrains us, what keeps us in government. What keeps us in right standing with God because we are not willing to offend him. We know the experience of the revelation of the love of God. This is what I do in the closet before I come to preach. People say I'm powerful. I break down before him. I, then he will look at me. I will open the ears of the deaf. If you have relationship, you can get anything else. You can get power. You can get wisdom. You can... But the father see it in secret. Oh my. Oh my. Haven't known this. Can you speak to him from your heart? Learn how to talk to him without, without speaking words from your mouth. Don't say anything from your mouth. Just use your heart to talk. Use your heart to talk. Talk from your heart to him. If you are really doing what I say you should do, you shouldn't be looking at the preacher. If you are looking at the preacher, it means you are not practicing. Talk to him from inside. 
you will find that your heart has a, a vocal chamber. There's a vocal cord there. In Jesus' name. Look at me. What you just did now is you shut the door. That's the practicality of shutting, going into a closet. Shutting the door. Your heart has a room, an exclusive chamber where you can stand with him. Right? If you don't cultivate it, you will not know there's a room. And in that place, the, the utterances that flow from there flow through the, the rings of your heart. It's the purest form of intercourse. That's where he picks your desires from. There is a room there. There is a room there. That's where I meet him. When I've met him there, I can come to the crusade ground and shout hallelujah. That one that I met in the privacy of that environment, he will come out in the open to defend every discussion we had there. Oh my. Oh my. Oh me. If we push this service for five more minutes, he will come here. Because we have spoken in that place. There is a room where only you can stand. Right there in your heart. Come in to stay. Come in today. Come in to my heart. Lord Jesus. It will start becoming real to you. Because he will begin to show you his shape and his form. It will be so real that you can cry. You have shut the door. What is happening is happening from within you, not from outside of you. And it grows with intensity. And if you have known him in that inner chamber, that inner place, the secret and the inward parts, if you have known him there, there is nothing that happens on the outside that will be strong enough to break you. No. We live from inside. We live from inside. You can survive any storm if your heart relationship with him is alive. Amen. Come to my heart, Lord Jesus. Tonight we ask that you will suck us into our hearts. Give us the, sen the sensitivity that is needed for us to discern your movements in that inner chamber. When you strip yourself and you show us your form and your shape. Cause our spiritual eyes to behold the splendor, the glory. And to know that heaven and earth can pass away. But that glory will remain forever. Lead us and reveal yourself in the secret and inward part. That our faith in you might be strengthened. That our confidence in you might be renewed. That we might have what it takes to stand before the enemy. And say it is written. That man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah. 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 Please let's pass the offering basket around. Please display the account number for those that are present here that may wish to do a transfer, a bank transfer.
those that are following us online may want to participate in the offering. this place and tomorrow it's a special service it's a power and prophetic service you have any rebellious situation in your life you have any disobedient issue in your life you have any lingering issue in your life that have escaped many attempts at overthrowing it Tomorrow is a customized service that is designed to deal with those kind of issues. If one is present in your life or in the life of somebody next door to you or close to you, you will do well to activate the conveyance of such person to this ground tomorrow. And we trust that the power of God will be present to deal specifically with those kind of issues. And as we go home, please sing the song that constituted the epilogue of this service. And this one. <laughs> please let's rise up and say. <laughs> For that is the kingdom. Oh, and the glory.